Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. The monsters. They're getting closer. That's right. The monsters are getting closer. Close your door. Close your window. Close your blinds. Because otherwise, you're going to die. I'm not joking. The monsters are getting closer. Well, that's pretty much what I'm going to be drawing in today's video. I'm just going to be drawing a guy who is scared shitless uh, because the monsters are drawing closer. That's pretty much what I'm going to be drawing in today's video. I'm sorry if my intro scared y'all. Uh, that 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 is not true. I'm not trying to do what was that thing that in like the 1930s where it was like a radio broadcast of like the aliens landing, but they, they it was just fiction and everything like that. But people thought it was real and everything like I don't want to I don't want to pull one of those stunts. I ain't going to lie. But today I'm going to be drawing a guy getting almost eaten by monsters or a guy just getting approached by monsters or the monsters getting closer to a guy with a pencil sign pen you know what i'm saying certainly no complaints on my behalf i do quite like this pen that is for sure and i'm just gonna be drawing the monsters getting closer to a guy on a piece of cheap ikea notebook paper without further ado though let's go ahead and get to drawing yes sir yes sir you know what i'm saying i'm saying first off i'm gonna go ahead and draw the guy who is scared quite a bit that is for sure so i'm just gonna go ahead and do just a circle right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and just draw two legs just like that, just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw his arms just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw his face and try to make it look as scared as possible. So how can I make him look as scared as possible? Let's see. So I'm trying, I usually don't try to make my characters look scared, but I'm gonna be trying very hard with this one. Just a little bit, just like that kind of thing. Perfect, perfect. There we go. I think I've pretty much nailed it. Eyebrows really are the best way, in my personal opinion, to make a character look scared. So I think I've pretty much nailed that one. Just add some other details. Add some teeth. There we go. Perfect, perfect. And add some eye lines, just like that. And there we go. Now that guy is done. Now, how am I going to be drawing the monsters? Because, yes, there are monsters here right now, but you can't actually see them. They're invisible. And I mean, like, if they're invisible, actually, that would be a pretty funny drawing if I just left the drawing like it is right now. Because it's just a guy in the void. He's just standing there kind of thing. And the monster's drawing closer, but you can't see any of the monsters. That would be very philosophical. I ain't going to lie. But I don't think that's what you guys clicked on the video for. I might have to do a drawing like that in the future, though. That would be <laughs> that would be the laziest drawing ever, but it would totally be something I'd pull. I ain't going to lie. But what I'm going to do to make it clear that the monsters are drawing closer and everything like that is I'm going to start drawing a bunch of eyes everywhere. So I'm just going to do one like that, one like that kind of thing, just like that, just like that. And I'm just going to draw eyes all over the place, all over the place. Just the normal style of eyes I do. So just like that, I'm just going to continue drawing eyes all over the place. Just like that, pretty much. And I think I'm going to do a couple more. There we go. Perfect, perfect. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave those eyes like that. And now I'm pretty much just going to color in the rest of the page. I'm not really caring too much about whether it's super dark or not, because I know if I try to make it super dark, it's just not going to work very well. But overall, that's pretty much the drawing just like it is kind of thing. The, draw the monster's drawing closer. I'm going to make sure I have a border going all the way around him and everything like that kind of thing. So he can't see in the dark or anything like that kind of thing. And I'm just going to draw all around the eyes and everything like that. The monsters are indeed drawing closer, but he can't see any of the monsters. I guess he can see their eyes, but he can't see the rest of the monsters, I do suppose. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. So there we go. There we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. And there we go. There we go. Now, this is some horror movie type stuff. Oh, man, my pen is starting to die a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and switch out 
and use my other pencil sign pen because I have two. Of course, I got to be prepared. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and grab my second one and go ahead and start using this one as well. There we go. Much better. Just try to get the lines as close to the eyes as possible. Go like that kind of thing. Just like that, perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I, I, I will admit, I definitely wouldn't want to be in his shoes right now. This is some horror movie type stuff. Definitely not a very big fan of this sort of stuff. I'm not really a big fan of uh, being trapped in a, in a dark place with things watching me, or I, even just the feeling of things watching me, that is for sure. But overall, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with the drawing. Do I think I could have done it better? Yeah, probably. I, I definitely do think I could have done it better. I definitely do think it would look a lot better. If I had a pen that wasn't fading and it was actually all black all over, but honestly, I feel like the whole sort of like faded with the dark and everything like that gives it a very unique and very interesting look. And one thing I, I do realize I want to go ahead and fix is just this one right here and everything like that kind of thing. I just want to go ahead and fix that one right there and go and fix that. Just fix some little things about the eyes and everything like that kind of thing just that right there and everything like that just that right there there we go perfect i'm pretty sure it is all good now you know what i'm saying i definitely do think i could have done the eyes a little bit better i definitely do think doing eyes like let's see i'm just going to take my pencil real quick so i don't ruin the back of this other drawing that i did but i think if i had just done eyes like that and i had done something like that kind of thing i definitely do think it would have been a lot more creepy or just something yeah, something like that or something like that kind of thing. I definitely do think it would have been a lot more creepy, and I definitely do think I would prefer the drawing, but overall, I'm still pretty satisfied with the kind of thing. I'm still pretty satisfied with it, and overall, I like the idea of having one of my characters trapped in a, a very dark, small, uh, cramped space, uh, looking like he's going through a claustrophobic crisis. Hmm. I can't think of the right word to describe it. Oh, well. But either way, though, I am pretty happy with this drawing. I will admit, you know what I'm saying? I will, I, am, I will admit, I definitely do think I could have done it better, but I definitely do want to do another drawing like this in the future that is just a little bit different and everything like that kind of thing. Just work out all the kinks of this drawing and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I am still certainly more happy than not with this drawing. Without further ado, though, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my main channel, all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, y'all. Until the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?